Today's video is gonna be awesome. We're gonna show you a passive way to get water from your pond to your water trough. It's gonna be a good time, all right? Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. If you didn't catch the last video, check it out. It'll be right here. We just moved the cows over to the other side of the farm and it was an adventure. <laughs> I was scared to death. So today we've got to move our water troughs over. We're going to go ahead and get those up. We're going to move them and we're going to put a simple watering system over here. I'll show you how we're doing it. We're going to do a gravity fed water system for our cows from our pond. It's going to be a good time. So come along. This is going to be a fun little video about a simple passive water system for our cows. Maybe give you some ideas of what you want to do on your place. All right. Woo! I ain't afraid of work, I ain't afraid of play, I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it all the damn way, I ain't afraid of life, times like this, if you mess with my freedom I'll tell you just what you can kiss, that's right. The reason I say you need to check out yesterday's video is that this entire distance we're driving here is where we moved our cows. So we basically released them from confinement and moved them across the farm here. It was very <laughs> nerve wracking to say the least. Uh, this whole area that we're in right now will be fenced in probably by May, but we can't build everything all at once and it's just too muddy right now to get out here with the tractor and the post driver to drive some posts. You guys ready for some water we need water over here on the new side of the farm don't we number three is normally like all up in my face a little standoffish today i think they're mad at me because i put them out on fresh grass let's get busy i'll show you what's going on so we've got some three quarter inch poly pipe we've got a roll of screen material fiberglass screen material and a piece of pipe right here we're going to cut this up we're going to make a float out of one section of the pipe we're going to make a filter out of the other section i'll show you how we do all that and what the goal here is is to drop this into our pond i'll raise the camera up a little bit so our pond dam is right back here basically directly behind us and what we're going to do is drop this over in and we're going to run a siphon down to where the cows are trying to drink out of the water. And they're grumpy, man. <laughs> so the first part of what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this five foot or four foot piece of uh, two inch PVC, in case you guys are taking an inventory to do this for yourself. And we're gonna cut it basically in half. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna take our little sawzall right here. Cut her in half, pretty simple. This is going to be our float and the other piece is going to be our filter. So we're gonna make a homemade filter to keep trash out of our water line. We're using a three quarter inch poly water line. And the reason we're using a three quarter inch is because we'll just get more flow. And the price point is just about right. I think each roll costs somewhere in the neighborhood of 23 bucks. So what we're gonna do is take caps, end caps, and we're gonna make a float. Pretty simple. We'll glue all this stuff together and make a float. We'll zip tie the float to the poly line and we'll let the filter hang down in the water but not touch the ground. Cool? I'll make it all up for you. Now we're dropping this in a pond. So we want to take the longest one and make our float and the shortest one will make our filter. The whole system here on the farm is based upon moving our cows. It's going to be uh, a moving animal project for sure. So we have to find simple solutions to water our animals, our livestock, our cows, our chickens, and everything. We've just ordered 50 laying hens for our farm, and we'll have pastured eggs produced here pretty soon. We'll talk you guys through all that stuff, even how we approach business owners to sell our product. We'll help you out with all that in case you're deciding that you want to build your own farm like this. This is just primer, PVC primer. Then we've got some medium PVC cement. 
cows are going to kind of be hanging out right here the whole time because they're thirsty. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. But I had to move them while I had help. And I had help yesterday. All right. This doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is a for cows. <laughs> it's not going to be critiqued by the cows. But it does need to be nice and neat. Cool. All right. Just that simple, two caps on the end, and that's our float. Next thing we're gonna do, we gotta make our filter system. Pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take around a half inch drill bit, I think this might be a 9 16 or something like that, and we're just gonna start drilling. We're gonna just go to town on this and drill probably 100 holes in this piece of PVC, and then we're gonna put an end cap on the end of it. So we got an end cap on this end, we've got a coupling, and then we've got an adapter that goes down to a threaded three-quarter inch pipe. And that's it. So this will have holes all through it. And then we're going to wrap this up with that screen and zip tie it. Okay. That's about good enough right there. The more holes, the merrier. It will save you from getting a clog down the road. And we'll explain all that to you in just a second. After we drill all of our holes in here, we want to kind of rub it down good and make sure there are no burrs on there to catch the screen. We're also going to kind of blow it out, knock it out a little bit because there'll be a little bit of trash in there inevitably. Now we're going to put the end cap on and we're going to put the connector to put to our three quarter inch poly. The whole job here is probably only going to take us about 35 minutes and then we'll have a water system down here in the other field for the cows. This is a temporary setup for a permanent solution. There will be a permanent solution to this, but right now we just have a few cows, so we're just going to do a temporary quick setup. Somebody is really grumpy. <laughs> we're also going to prime the couplings and all the connectors too. Make sure everything's primed up good. Be sure if you're priming PVC that you go over. In other words, go over the lip right here too, okay? This is the connector, three quarter inch connector. Here's our end cap. This is a low pressure system. In other words, there is no pressure on this. So we really don't have to go this far, but, but we are. We're into it this far. All right, put our end cap on. Okay, then we'll put our coupling on. Again, this is two inch PVC, schedule 40 PVC. And this is the end connector right here. All right. We're not done. We're not quite done with the filter yet. Now we're gonna wrap this with the screen. I'll show you. This is our screen, and it's just basically replacement screen. What do they call this? Fiberglass vent screening. That's what this is. I thought this would be a little easier than getting a great big gigantic uh, screen replacement for a uh, screen door. So you take this screen and roll it around. That's pretty much it. Okay, roll it around. This is gonna serve as our water filter. We'll twist it on there nice and snug and tight and make sure each one of these holes is covered up. Cool, twist it tight. That's our filter. Now, I'll show you how we hold this in place. Zip tie it on one end and we'll just move on down the line here. Zip tie the rest of it. All you need to do is hold it in place. Think of it like this. This filter material is temporary. The zip ties are temporary. This whole apparatus is a permanent structure that we'll continue to use on the farm. We're going to go ahead and put probably five zip ties across here. There we go. That is our filter. Here's what goes in the end of the filter. It's a three quarter inch pipe thread to three quarter inch poly. And I'm actually going to put a little Teflon tape on here. Even though it's a low pressure system, I don't want to take a chance in sucking any air in if I can help it. So we're going to put a little Teflon tape on there. And this guy screws right into the end. We're ready for our poly line. Put our hose clamp on first and we'll push our, get all the dust off there and we'll push our end three quarter inch poly into the end right here. Oh baby, there you go. Get in there. Sometimes if you can't get it in, it's really cold outside, you can heat that up and put it in place. 
We're just going to tighten up our hose clamp. Nice and snug. This part's ready to go in the pond. We want this to be off of the ground in the water. We want it to be about this deep in the water. It's going to sink and this is going to float. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back here. Our float is going to go about two feet from the end of the poly right here. And I'm just going to put two zip ties on that to hold it in place. Now, if you're worried about your zip ties slipping, you can always run a little bit of tape right around your uh, poly pipe, and that'll keep your zip ties and your float from sliding back and forth. But I think two zip ties is probably gonna do it, two or three maybe. Completely passive water system here. It's gonna be awesome. All right, here's the fun part. This is going to be ran right over the dam. We're going to run it right down the hill, right where the cows are. Very simple. I have 300 feet of poly line. I anticipate we'll have enough. If we don't, we'll go buy more. And then we'll chuck it out in there. And then it'll come right back. <laughs> got our next two pieces of poly and we're going to attach. I've already put the coupling in place here and we're going to attach to the other end of that one. Pretty simple. This poly is so easy to work with. There we go. We'll tighten up our hose clamp. Ready to go. We're almost done. Probably another three minutes and we'll have water down here. Awesome. I'm gonna clip off the end of this poly pipe and I'll show you why here in just a second. Man, the lighting is really bad. I don't know why it's kind of a cloudy day out here. So we'll clip off this little piece of poly. And the reason for that is we're gonna push that little piece of poly. We're not gonna hose clamp it. But this is the valve system that I'm going to use and I didn't put it all the way together just so I could show you guys. So this is an elbow and that's a three quarter inch ball valve right there. Now this ball valve is not tolerant of UV okay so something to be aware of it's not UV tolerant which can cause degrading of this PVC. So just so you guys know it uh, it's going to be shaped just like this. The poly pipe is going to go in, the poly pipe is going to go out. Very simple. This is going to go in the water tank and I can rotate this. You can see here, I can rotate whichever direction I want it to go. So it's going to be hanging over the fence and going out like that, dispersing water. And the supply line is going to go right up into here. I'm also going to use this to get my siphon. Okay, so what this whole deal is, is about siphoning. So we're siphoning up from the pond, the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill, a passive water system. Super cool. No pumps, no electricity, no worries, and happier cows than what I have right now. First, we got to get our siphon. We're going to pop this end cap off, and this is the part where I get to drink pond water. <laughs> Ugh. That tastes bad. Yuck. <sighs> Most certainly not a fan of the poly pipe hookah. <laughs> Gotta be a better way to do this. You guys, post a comment down there. Is there something I can use to siphon without having to taste that nastiness? Ugh. Here goes. And we're gonna let some water run through there too. Basically, I think it's the taste of what's in here from manufacturing. Woo, this is no joke, siphoning water 300 feet. Woo, not at all. I may have to go up top, separate the 100 foot pipe, draw water through that, and then hook them together. And they're getting impatient. <laughs> Instead of trying to siphon it up over the dam, I filled the pipe with water, basically siphoned it on the flat part of the dam down next to the water. So I only had to lift the water about that far. And then I capped it with my thumb and I brought it down the hill, opened it up and it started siphoning. Now we got water. Awesome. It'll probably run, I don't know, a gallon a minute, something like that. Uh, we'll let this thing fill up good. We'll go ahead and get the other water trough down here and we'll have plenty of water for our cows over on this side of the farm. 
Oh, what a chore. I don't know if you can see my lips, but I recommend using a half inch pipe. Don't use a three quarter inch pipe. I uh, finally got the siphon started. Uh, we've got some water down here finally. Cows can smell it coming down here, pretty cool. They could smell the water from way up the hill and they came running down here. It's very difficult to siphon three quarter inch pipe. Good gracious. So let's get this set up real quick. We do have water. There you go. Now we're getting water. Everybody, everybody chill out. Hang on, it gets me a good chance to rub them on the head anyway. Get them used to me. That's it guys. So we got water. We got water down here, just siphoning. It was a lot of work. Uh, I recommend using half inch, don't use three quarter. Gosh, what a pain in the butt. These guys are gonna be a hassle. Hey, get back until they get their water. So they're a little thirsty. It's starting to rain, it's a good thing. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I got to babysit the cows for just a little bit. It's a good time here on the farm. I hope you learned a little something about a passive water system. Guys, please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fun stuff like this. And I'm never going to fill that up if the cows don't leave it alone. <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. We'll Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.